Did you ever wonder how could an automatic door function? Or how awesome to use a toilet without the need to pull down the flush? It's always great to have a proximity sensor for you to wash your hand and use the heater. So how does it work? The voltage generator powers the oscillator which causes the infrared LED to start flashing. The infrared receiver is placed in parallel with the emitter so that it's prevented from detecting the flashing LED. The demodulator blocks every other infrared frequency to disable them from triggering the output. When a person passes, the receiver sees the reflection of the emitted light. This is how the output is triggered. For this project you will need a 9V battery clip, 2 7805 voltage regulator, 2N2222 and 2N2907 transistors, an infrared receiver and a 555 timer chip, 4 1K resistors, 2 180 ohm resistors, 2 500K pot, 0.1 microfarad, 1.5 nanofarad and 3300 microfarad capacitor, an LED, an infrared LED, 1N4007 diode. And of course, our 5V relay. Connect the battery clip to the breadboard. Pin 1 of the regulator should be positive. Pin 2 is related to pin 1 via a 0.1 microfarad capacitor. Don't forget to ground pin 2. Connect the receiver's positive pin to the regulator's pin 3. The receiver's negative pin is to be grounded. Connect the receiver's output to the LED's cathode. The other LED's pin is connected to the 2N2907's base via the 1K. Then relate the transistor's emitter to the regulator's output. Till now, the receiver is supposed to function properly. Relay the 2N2222's base to the transistor's collector using the 180 ohm resistor. Again, don't forget to ground the emitter of the second transistor. You shall now relay the 1K resistor to the first transistor's collector. Then connect in series the 500K pot. The middle pin of the pot should then be grounded. The positive probe of the 3300 microfarad capacitor is related to the base of the 2N2222. The second pin is to be connected to ground. The 2N2222's collector is related to the diode's anode. The relay is added in parallel to the diode and is then connected to the regulator's output. Plug the 7805 regulator. Pin 1 is positive and pin 2 is connected to ground. Pin 8 of the 555 is connected to the output of the regulator and pin 1 is grounded. Connect pin 2 to pin 6. Pin 2 is as well grounded via a 1.5 nanofarad capacitor. Connect pin 4 to pin 8. A 1K should be placed between pin 7 and 8. Another 1K is placed in series with a 500K pot. This pot is then related to pin 6 and 2. Relate pin 3 to a 480 ohm resistor. The infrared LED's anode is connected to the resistor and the cathode is grounded. With a camera, verify if the infrared LED is working. 
because it can be seen directly by human's eyes. You may need to adjust the spot in order for the oscillation to activate the relay. To do this, place an obstacle between the emitter and the receiver. The adjustment may take a while, so be patient. Now let's use the relay to power on another circuit. We will place in series a battery and a motor. When the switch is activated, the motor should start spinning. Adjust the pot in order to control the switching time of the relay. If you enjoyed the video, just give me a like, it will help me a lot. And as always, thanks for watching.